What is going on guys? We are back with another video. This isn't really a prime time video, but I decided I would show you the team because we're talking Madden 18 franchise teams and I'm not gonna I know a lot of people have been doing this and you guys have known that I was talking about doing one of these videos for a while now and I finally got around to it, but there is a tier system on our fran primetime franchise and I'm also going to talk about more than just one franchise, of course. Um, but for right now, prime time, there's a tier system, and um, most for for day ones, and we're not I mean, we're not day ones, but we're very close. I would say there's a 99.99% chance we're tier one, which gives us a pretty damn good t chance of getting the Falcons. But it's also set in place where if someone wants your team, they have a chance at it, except for the Falcons. So I'm almost certain. If we really want the Falcons, guys, we can have it. The question is, do we want the Falcons? Because Devontae Freeman, he's most likely going to get a contract before the next game comes out. And it's not that Devontae Freeman isn't great, but you see he's already 27 here. His stats aren't even that great. 25 years old, he'll start, I believe, for us, which is a little old for a running back. I'd rather start with some random rookie at 22. Then you got Matt Ryan, who's got a huge contract. Julio Jones will be unusable at this point and i would assume next year we're going to want to get to this point and then some so the best wide receiver in the league julio jones will regress quickly we won't have henry johnson the wide receiver core in general for atlanta isn't great even though we turned it into a pretty damn good squad um so i'm a little hesitant with that they have a good old line um if i'm being honest i would much rather have a team like the texans or jaguars but like I said, I'm pretty much letting that go up to you guys. If I do a different league, I might just, you know, I might just change, you know, just choose the Titans or Jaguars. Um, I've been thinking about what to do because if I do a solo one, I know a lot of you guys have wanted a subscriber league, but if I do a solo one, I think I might choose the Packers. Because of course the Packers are my favorite team in real life. And that's kind of the move, you know, I, I would like to do that. And then if I do a subscriber league, I would choose the team I'd want, like the Jaguars or Titans. So let me know what you guys think about that. Of course, there's probably a bunch of teams that would want the Jaguars or a bunch of teams that would want the Titans. Um, so, you know, this is the roster, basically what we'd be dealing with. Got the rookies as well. Um, Kevin King would be so sick to have uh, Aaron Rodgers, obviously, but... I'm thinking the best team is probably the Titans just for Mariota. I would assume he's going to be a little bit higher than 80 overall, but look at that. 23, maybe at most 24. With that kind of speed, he's he's just a matchup nightmare for any franchise. Uh, Mariota, I mean, we also got Derrick Henry, who's going to be absolutely sick in the game for his trucking and his size. He's a little bit on the older side already. I believe he will be 22 in the game. I can't remember when his birthday was. Um, wide receiver core would be a little rough, but you do have Corey Davis, so that's a fun player to use. Corey Davis and Taji Sharp make for a really young core. Um, you'd have to get a new tight end. Delaney is really, really rough, but they also have a really young O-line. I think if it wasn't for the offensive line, it would be a tough team to choose for an online one, but that O-line, you're going to be you're gonna be set with a pretty solid O-line for a while. I mean, that's a young, solid O-line, especially for the tackles. Daquan Jones, um, not too bad. Uh, and then, of course, Jarrell Casey, rather young, 91 overall as well. It'll be easily that or more. Um, now, this is where it gets a little rough, though, is the middle linebacker position that is really disappointing because it's not a great core. I mean, it's not a bad core. It's just not a great core for Madden, rather slow as well. That's the hugest drawback. And you guys know, middle linebacker, unless they change something, is the number one position I'd want to have set uh, you got a dory jackson at cornerback of course a position core that's a little rough but you do have logan ryan um, you just need one or two cornerbacks you're not choosing the titans for their defense you're choosing them for Mariota. you're choosing them for derrick henry and you're choosing them for the two young wide receivers um so it's a tough squad to like you know completely commit to but it is the one that is on my list for sure uh, and then, of course, you have the Jaguars, a really solid squad as well, uh, as well because you have Allen Robinson, Allen Hearns. Um, Lee isn't bad. Obviously, you'd be wanting someone a little bit different there. Uh, and then, of course, the highlight of the team, obviously, Leonard Fournette, young as hell. 
gonna be beast as hell. Clearly the main reason you would want the Jaguars besides a lot of those young defensive players. See the offensive line, Linder's nice, but that's about it. Da Dante Fowler Jr., that's a decent player as well. Gakwe, Calais, that's a little rough, so is Malik because he's expensive as hell. But then you have the main focus is having a guy like Miles Jack who's very young. Don't know what his development's going to be on the game, and he should be a low overall, but he's still going to be young as hell. And you got Telvin Smith, who we actually enjoyed in our league. Um, and then Jalen Ramsey, the main guy with, of course, Boye. So it's really tough. Um, I mean, you could go OP and choose the Cowboys, but at the same time, the Falcons might be even more OP. Nah, nah, not even close. The Cowboys were 100% the most OP team because you got Dak Prescott who's like one of the best quarterbacks Elliott the best running back in the league for development for a franchise wide receiver core is actually rough because Des Bryant's going to be really old on the game when obviously like one year away from retirement but then obviously you have like the best offensive line ever so that's pretty nice defense is very rough though it is very rough you got Jalen who's very young and uh good to use so Obviously, we'd want to use a team that we don't think is going to be getting a lot of um, offers because obviously it's going to be randomized. The Buccaneers are a nice team too, though. The Buccaneers are actually really awesome. Um, so, ooh, cornerback's looking very rough, though. I mean, I think even in our league, the cornerback position's still not set for the Buccaneers. Solid team. So, I think... Let me quickly just go over these teams. Um... Not the Bears, hell no. Oh. Tiger Vikings are another solid team. Because you'd have young ass Treadwell, young ass Diggs, Cal uh, Dalvin Cook, Latavius Murray's a freaking glitch. Teddy Bridgewater's young as hell. Harrison Smith. Cornerbacks are really rough, actually. You got Trey Waynes and Rhodes, who are actually on the up and up for age, considering their low development. And then Anthony Barr is the highlight of the team, since he's a monster in size. The Vikings aren't bad either. Honestly, you got a young, uh, a decently young team, I suppose. But unless you guys somehow put me on a team, I think this is how it's going to go. We are going to have the Falcons as our number one because that's the team we can automatically get. And that's obviously something I want because I want a decent team that we're locked in at. Then I would say two. Ooh, this is tough. I think two would be Jaguars. Honestly, I was really talking about the Titans, but the Jaguars... Nah, you know what? I think it would be the Titans. I think it actually would be the Titans because Mariota is so freaking awesome. So Falcons, Titans, Jaguars, then the Buccaneers. So let me know who you think we should have or at least try to get for the Primetime League. I will be looking into it to see if... I'm automatically guaranteed the Falcons. Like, let's say I try for the Titans. I try for the Jaguars. I try for the Buccaneers, and I don't get any of them. Am I locked in at Buccaneers? Or Falcons, anyways. Am I locked in at Falcons? Because if I am, then I think that's the route we're going to go is we're going to try for the other teams. You let me know what you think. Now, if I uh, create my own, pretty damn sure I'm going to be using the Packers and if not the Packers, I think the Browns. I think the move is to go with the quote-unquote league's worst team. Browns are nowhere near the league's worst team, right? Well, I mean, they're not nowhere near. They're close. They're close. But they're not even the bad, the worst that I would think. I would say the Jets or Bears are there easily. I would say Jets for a franchise because at least the Bears have Trubisky, who's going to be decent in Madden. Um, and then you got Howard as well. But... You, know, you want fun offensive players. At the end of the day, you can have the worst defense in the world, but as long as you have fun offensive players, you'll still have some fun. Um, but yeah, I think Packers-Browns for a um, solo league, which it could be like a one-year deal where I upload only once a week of that. And then, of course, if we do a subscriber league, which I think there's a 95% chance if I do one, it has to be with another YouTuber because I want a couple of guys. Um, you know, It would be actually really awesome to do one with Param be awesome to do one with uh not the expert and then if bangle wanted to join which i don't know if he would or just if you have anyone else in mind as well along with those guys or just in general because i'm not sure like those guys are big franchise guys but i don't know if they'd be down for a league 
or the progression of the league. I could see because primetime is obviously going to be one of the leagues where we play multiple years. Not sure about a subscriber league or a solo league. That could be one of those once a week type deals where it takes 16 weeks real life to get through a season. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I think it was solid. I think we had a lot of information. Um, got another one of those uh, little clickbait videos because <laughs> everyone's been doing it lately. And obviously we have a lot to talk about because we, you know, we automatically have the primetime league. Going to have the other leagues as well because I am a, you know, I am a big franchise guy. Maybe we do a fantasy draft. I don't know. I just don't know. So, um, actually, that would be really fun. I think maybe I will go Packers uniforms with uh, a fantasy draft franchise. We'll see, though. I think a lot, you know, comes down to what you guys want to see. And also, if I can get another YouTuber on board. Actually, Rainy Ravens would be cool as well to have along with that. Because, I mean, he's not the biggest franchise guy in the world. But he had his little Bears franchise. And that would actually be kind of fun to uh to have a you know the guys that i know so let me know if you have anyone or anyone in that circle you know andy could join you know just anyone you just let me know because obviously it's supposed to be a subscriber league but if only like a couple of teams are taken by youtubers it's all right i think um but anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video share this around with um top youtubers or just youtubers you think you would like to see in a franchise with me you know tweet them on twitter or whatever it may take to try and get someone on board with it. Um, you know, just be like, hey, Gnome's looking for someone for a, a YouTuber league, or yes, subscriber leagues, potentially. Would you be interested? I mean, I don't mind doing a lot of the work, a lot of the admin stuff, um, but it is rough having multiple leagues. So just, you know, once again, lots, lots to think. Uh, just leave me a comment. I need these comments. All right, guys, I need some feedback, especially on the prime time, because that's 100% happening. Uh, but anyways, hope you guys come back for the next video. But until next video, 